Valve selection for a scraper launcher. In order to clean a pipeline, a scraper is passed through the pipe to remove any scale or debris. The scraper is launched into the pipe using gas pressure via a launcher and removed via a receiver. Launchers and receivers are similar in design and operating sequence. Both use a series of valves to control the gas flow. In this video, we will show a typical launcher sequence to understand what the roles and critical requirements of each valve are, so an optimal valve selection can be made. You will note that some valves have to open against full differential pressure or allow throttling of the flow to occur, whilst providing a bubble-tight seal. In these harsh applications, a plug valve is the preferred choice. At the start of the launching sequence, all valves are closed, except the block valve. The gas is flowing in the pipeline at high pressure and the launcher station is isolated. To begin the procedure, the launcher chamber is depressurized by opening the vent valve into the atmosphere. A soft-seated ball valve would be damaged during a full differential pressure opening, therefore a plug valve is used to ensure that isolation to the atmosphere is restored once the valve is closed. When the chamber reaches ambient pressure, the door can be opened and the scraper is put into the launch position. In this phase, it is crucial that the isolating and kicker valves provide a bubble-tight shutoff to isolate the chamber and ensure operator safety, so the correct valve selection is critical. The vent valve and chamber door are closed and the bypass valve is opened. The kicker valve is now slowly opened to pressurize the chamber and balance the pressure either side of the isolating valve. The kicker valve is rarely fully opened, as throttling of the gas flow provides control over the speed of the scraper when it moves into the pipeline. Throttling would damage a soft-seated ball valve, hence a plug valve is used. The isolating valve is generally a full-bore, soft-seated ball valve to allow the scraper to pass through, and with the pressure now balanced either side, it can be safely opened without damaging the seats. The bypass and block valves are now closed. This generates a gas flow behind the scraper, launching it into the pipeline. Once the scraper is moved down the pipeline, the block valve is opened and the kicker and isolating valves are now closed. The launcher is now isolated and returned to its original position. For more information, please speak to one of our representatives.